I'm surprised people don't sit in these chairs when the guard's not looking. Hmm. Entschuldigen Sie bitte. Die Kinder. Ich höre etwas, um es auszuwischen. The Black Madonna for I don't think I need to move the table. That adjoining hallway might be useful. That adjoining hallway might be...
ist das Ding hier hereingekommen? The Madonna must be in that inner shrine. I'm not sure I can go back there by myself. The Madonna must be in that inner shrine. I'm not sure I can go back there by myself. I'm not making myself understood. I'd like to make a prayer, Father.
That silver heart reminds me of the silver penitent gifts at Altadin. I wonder if... No, that wouldn't be right. Gerda, I have something to ask you. It's really awful. What is it? You know the silver heart you got for Wolfgang's casket? Yes. If I paid you to have another one made, do you think I could take the one at St. George's? It's for Gabriel, isn't it? Yes. Take it. Wolfgang will understand. Thank you so much, Gerda. Hello. I'd like to make a prayer, Father. If I could get away about Tony. Take this gift. I think you know why I'm here. I apologize for even thinking of violating your shrine. But you know I need to get what's inside Ludwig's urn. I think you want me to help him and Gabriel. Gabriel may be egotistical and selfish, but he's got a good heart, I think. Anyway, he doesn't deserve this curse. Help me help both of them. Please.
Heart earns. If I could get away with moving that chair, I could reach the urns. If I could get away with moving that chair, I could reach the urns. I don't have another gift. Maybe I should just pray. If I could get away with moving that chair, I could reach the urns. If I could get away with moving that chair, I could reach the urns. If I... I hope this works. seconds.
The Curse of Engelhard by Richard Wagner. Act One. Many years ago, in a small German village, there lived a young man named Engelhard. Engelhard was a lowly blacksmith's apprentice. He was fair faced, but by nature gentle and shy. Being for ten years, but the blacksmith. Der Fluch des Engelhart by Richard Wagner, conducted by Herr Klaus Immerding and Herr Georg Immerding. I can't believe we've pulled it off. We have one hour, people. Herr Immerding. Herr Emmerding. Yes, Mr. Costello. Herr Emmerding, I must again protest about my lack of vocalization in Act 3. I have not a single note until the transformation hour. Now, how many times do we have to go over this? You are disguised as a silent mystery. I know it. But an hour, sung to the audience, off to one side, would be very effective. Hildegard has one. Yes, but the audience is not supposed to know it's you until the transformation into a wolf. It's a surprise. You know, surprise. I realize that's the way it's written. I simply disagree with its effectiveness. Your opinion is noted. Ah, it's time to get ready, Georg. You go. I, uh, I want to go over this one more time. How do you feel? Like someone's put broken glass in my brain. I thought we'd have you back in Rittersburg by now. The Smiths are waiting for you there. It's okay. Just stick me in a room somewhere. Are we ready for the test? I'll check. Could you see about some heat, Gracie? I'm really freezing in here. Are you cold? Sure. It's cold. I'll see what I can do. I'm good. You do that. Seating chart.
This might be useful. Here's that list I made. I made this list of things to do. I made this list of things to do. Georg, I need you to promise me something. What? There may be some distractions tonight in the audience in Act Three. I need you to keep playing no matter what. What distractions? What are you saying? Don't get upset. It's just, well, it is opening night. The audience might be a bit rowdy, you know? Are you serious? But we have extra security lined up, so if anything were to happen, it would be taken care of. So just, you know, keep playing. Grace, I, I do not even want to know what you are talking about. This is a brand new Wagner opera. I am not going to stop the performance, even if, if Wagner himself comes floating out on stage. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Herr Silbermeier, I know you're working as fast as you can, but we're opening in less than an hour. I really need to run through some music once you're done. Why music? They will not fall down. I'm sure they won't, but uh, look, you told me they'd be done by noon. Well, you are lucky that we could even make them in so little time. And then we drive them here special this morning. I know that. I know. You've been great. It's just... Is everything at least going according to the diagram? Yeah, we make it work. What do you mean, we make it work? <laughs> this diagram is not so good. Uh, we make changes, yeah? Oh, my God. Look, there weren't supposed to be changes. I told you to follow the diagram exactly. <laughs> Maybe in 1945 we followed diagram exactly. But today, we make changes. <laughs> what are you saying? These measurements are not the same as today. Now, if we make the chandeliers the same distance from each other, just as marked, but the distance from chandeliers to the walls, no, not the same. Why aren't the measurements the same? This is the Wittelbacher Theater, isn't it? Yeah, but not the same Wittelsbacher Theater. The bombs hit the first one. This one is very close, but smaller. But everything looks so old. Oh, so he takes the art and the wood and save it. Remake theater later, after the war. Of course. Of course. How could I be so stupid? I'm a history major. Uh, it's okay. The chandeliers work good. Same distance from each other, but just not to walls. Yes. I'm sure you've done your best. Thank you.
I suppose that large X had something to do with the seating arrangements. It's in a nice line from the chandeliers. The large X on Wagner's diagram is in an area called the Mittel Loge on the seating chart. I'd better check it out. This is definitely the Mitologe. According to Wagner, von Glauer gets seated here. Lieber too. Now I just need to find a way to block the doors. <laughs> 